Kabam! Back with Jamal Lewis. 95 overall. Dean Diamonds, how good is he? We're going to find out. Guys, we get this video to 100 likes. I will give them away on YouTube. I will go live. Put your name in a drawing. I'll draw a winner. Just 100 likes, guys. Every like really helps me. If you really like this channel, if you really like the views, I mean, if you really like the content, please put a like. I'd really appreciate it. Jamal Lewis right now is not very expensive. He's one of the cheapest running backs, actually. And I'm going to tell you, there might be a good reason for that. One thing that really stands out on this card, as soon as you look at the stats, it's, it's going to be the looseness. Not the biggest fan of that. You cannot zigzag with him. So if you want to zigzag and I prefer running backs that can zigzag. One of that goes back to elusiveness. Um, you're not going to be able to do that with him. He has 81 elusiveness. So he is going to be a downhill, straight ahead, halfback dive kind of guy. So if you need that power back to give your maybe your main running back a break, he might be that guy because he does get bulldozer. I mean, he can trot. But trucking is not that, not the best thing in this game. But I will tell you, his 92 stamina, I notice he gets tired a little bit faster, I believe. I think that's fake news. I think he does get tired faster. His carry is a B plus. He did not put the ball on the ground at all. I had no issue with him not being able to carry the ball. He is very reliable. I think in third, fourth quarter, we can, you can give him the ball without him costing you a game. Juke's going to be a B plus. He can juke. That is one of the things you can do with this car. You can run straight ahead and juke. That's about all he can do, to be quite honest with you. Spinning here is not going to get to your grade. Spinning, you know, it's going to be a C. He cannot spin. You might be able to get a couple slow spins off on some lower overall players, but if you rely on that, it will cost you. It goes with his elusiveness as well, but his spin rating is also so low, he will cost you for that. And his trucking is going to be A-. He can get the job done there, but with his up, upper tier linebackers coming out, and the way the game mechanics works, trucking is not the best option in this game. This is not the way it's programmed, I believe. Um, maybe you have more success than I do in trucking, but for me, it's not the best. But his break tackle being 94, he did break some tackles that I didn't expect. But at the same time, I wasn't blown away with it. It's not nothing super special. His catching the B minus. Don't rely on traffic, but if he's open like this, you can catch him in the you will have a little touchdown catch. He won't drop open passes very much, but he also will not catch in traffic. He's not throwing traffic with them. But like I said, guys, break tackles may be plus. What card do you want to see next? Let me know down below. What review do you want? Um, I'm thinking Edger and James might be next. But, however, Jamal Lewis right now for his price, about 215 k you can get him for a power back. Um, you can get a guy who can close out the game, but he's going to be overall B+. Plus. Um, he can close out the game. Dude, the 90 strength will really help him, which I believe is the highest for any running back. Always help others for no reason, guys. That is the message of the video. We have enough hate in the world. As a community, let's come together. Let's grow. Let's encourage each other. Let's help each other on Twitch and YouTube. And let's watch the game grow together. So, did I enjoy his card? Yeah. Should you get him? Do you have to have him? No. The Ravens team team? Absolutely. I would. It, he'd, he'd be a great addition. Because at the end of the day, guys, that 92 speed is not the worst. You can get it up there pretty well. He does fumble there, but that was the only fumble I had. Him versus Nick Chubb are basically the same card. Um. I would say probably save your coins and get Lewis over Chubb. 
I don't want you wasting your coins. I think you're gonna get a hundred percent different. It is not gonna be much difference. Edron James' speed is gonna be a little better. He's faster. That will be their view coming with his looseness as well. Walter Payton versus Jamal Lewis. Walter Payton's a better card. I can tell you that. Watch my Walter Payton review if you have not seen that. I do have quite a bit of reviews on my channel. I appreciate guys all the support. Keep this content coming. Please put a like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bo Jackson's a better running back as well. He's worth the coins over Lewis. I will see you in the next one.